Hey, what's going on, fellas? In this video, we're going to examine the nozzle geometry temperature correlation. I think I can make a hotter flame with less air and less fuel, so let's check it out. So we're, what we're looking at here is a burner that is using one of my smaller nozzles, and basically, it is able to achieve a smaller, hotter flame, and I think one of the main reasons is the smaller fuel pin stock. Because it has a smaller diameter, we don't suffer from the fuel being boiled inside the cap stand, causing irregular combustion and a flame out. If you look here at how small that fuel jet is compared to the last video we've seen this burner in, it's a lot more suitable for uh, higher temperature, smaller flames. You can see here we're using almost half the air that we used last time. The fuel's real close, but we're getting a hotter flame. I think we clocked out at 2,217 degrees with the other nozzle on this burner. We'll get the fuel specs here in a second. I just want to show you guys we're at 2,239 degrees there. Essentially, guys, this is a high velocity nozzle, and we're getting 23 degrees hotter using less air and less fuel because of the mix rate, I think. I think that's what's happening, and also because of the pin stock. This pin stock isn't drained uh, fuel the way the larger one is. Ooh, we hit 242. 19 degrees, or 25 degrees hotter. Not too shabby. And it just gets hotter and hotter. I'm loving this thing. I think it hits 250 if I if my recollection serves me. So it's just it's amazing that something as simple as a smaller pen stock can really mean the difference when it comes to achieving the highest output for a given combustor. That's absolutely amazing. I'm sure we could do better than this had I the time to sit here and dial this in. But for the most part, I just think that's pretty cool. I had a hunch this would happen just from past experience and using this smaller nozzle. I just noticed I couldn't dial the fuel down the way I was able to with these other two nozzles that we've seen in the last video. They have a large pin stock and are most suitable for larger operating ranges. So what happens is when you turn down the fuel valve too much, the Ventura effect sucks all the fuel out of the pin stock and it leaves it empty. It's so large that the fuel can kind of flow out of there like a, like a Pringles can laying on its side or something, you know? The water just kind of flows out of it. I don't know, that's a horrible analogy, but that's kind of what's happening is we're draining that pin stock. We cannot do this with that other nozzle. So I gotta keep that in mind. These nozzles here on these burners, they um, are unable to do this. And we're maintaining around a 240 plus temperature range, which wasn't possible with that other nozzle on this burner without the preheat. So I can't imagine what this nozzle would do with the preheat system, and we will be building one. Here I'm just kind of messing around with uh, setting the temperature in different places. Wow, I got it up to 253 there. Or no, we're cold there. That was 2,100. I'm sorry. But um, definitely a strange characteristic. I'm almost positive that's what's happening because it's easy to suffer a flame out when you go down on fuel levels this low. But yet with this smaller pen stock, this thing is just ripping and roaring. It even has a distinctive sound to it. I'm going to put the specs up on the screen, the actual air input and fuel consumption versus the other unit. That'll all be done in retrospect. I don't have the uh, ability to do that at this moment, but for the most part, the air is a huge reduction. So if someone with a small air compressor would definitely be able to take advantage of this nozzle far better than had I sold them one of the larger nozzles. So this is a valuable piece of information that's going to save me from pissing off one of my customers, basically. I want to give them the best that they can get. I often ask, what kind of air compressor do they have? And this would afford me the ability to set them up with a nozzle specifically suitable for a smaller air compressor. 
So there you have it.